What's up everyone, today we're going to take a look at another SQL interview question hosted on startuscredits.com, this time being asked by Netflix. Let's get into it. Okay, this question is called Nominees Without an Oscar, and our task is to find the nominees who have been nominated the most but have never won an Oscar. I'll put the number of unsuccessful nominations alongside the nominee's name. Order records based on the number of nominations in descending order. We only have one table called Oscar nominees containing a few fields, namely year, category, nominee, movie, winner, and ID. Let's just take a look at that preview data to see what we're working with. So basically there's one row per Oscar nomination. Let's take the first one. In 2006, in the category actress in a supporting role, Abigail Breslin was nominated for the movie Little Miss Sunshine. That person didn't win because winner is false. And ID is one that is pretty much just a row number as it seems like it just increments by one. So that's all good. So let's take another look at the question statement to see what we're really supposed to do. So it says, find the nominees who have been nominated the most but have never won an Oscar, pretty much. So we're looking for whoever has the most entries in that table. Um, we're basing that on the nominee, that is the person we're working with. And yeah, we wanna have as many rows as possible while none of these rows have a true value in winner because that would mean they have won an Oscar at least once, right? We're also supposed to order the records based on the number of nominations in descending order. So it's probably just gonna be an order by, right? Something I wanna do for this video is try out a new feature on Stratascratch, which is using MySQL SQL dialect or MySQL. It's currently in beta mode just as R is. You could write R code as well. Usually, I'm working with PostgreSQL, but it's cool to be able to MySQL. Some other platforms use that as well. And you might be used to that dialect. So we're trying this one and there might be some slight differences. There's gonna be a difference in this one, but I'm gonna point out where the difference lays. Let's just try to come up with our code. Our approach is to get the number of nominations per nominee, and then also get the number of Oscar wins per nominee. And then we can order by the number of nominations in descending order, just as we're tasked. And then also say, or basically filter to the number of wins being zero. That means they never won an Oscar. And that's what we're supposed to do, right? So I'm going to select nominee as well as the number of nominations. In order to do this, I'm just gonna do count star because the amount of rows should be the amount of nominations. An actor got or an actress. Let's call that nominations. Let's think about how we get the number of wins. So basically in the winner we have a Boolean value, which is either true or false, depending on whether that person won the Oscar or not, whether the nomination was successful in that sense. So if we use the sum function in MySQL, we can directly sum up how many true values are in that column. Basically, true evaluates to one and false to zero in MySQL. So you can directly use the sum function to count up how many true values were in there and that basically relates to the number of Oscar wins for that person, if you're able to follow. So we're gonna call this wins. We're selecting all that from Oscar nominees and group, grouping by the nominee. Let's just run that code to see how it works. So we have that person here, the nominee, the number of nomination, and the number of wins. So you see the number of wins can be two for some people, just to be sure it works correctly. It does seem to count up or summarize the values in the column winner. Now, if we were using PostgreSQL, this sum function wouldn't work on the winner column because PostgreSQL wouldn't just evaluate true and false values as zero and one directly. 
for the use of sum function. So the sum function doesn't work with Boolean values in PostgreSQL, but it does in MySQL. Now these are very slight nuances. You probably don't have to know for each dialect, but you should probably know it for the one you're working with. Now in order to make this work for other SQL dialects, you could use case when statements. So case when winner is true, evaluates to one, else to zero. I don't think you have to write equals true here, or is true, again, depending on the dialect. But you would have to use a case statement in any way. You don't if you're using MySQL, that's why I really like that SQL dialect. And that's why I showcased MySQL using this question. All right, but let's get back to the question. One thing we have to do is order by nominations in descending order. To get the person with the highest number of nominations on top, we have Meryl Streep as the top actor or actress. In this case, 17 nominations, but Meryl Streep has three wins and we want to exclude people who have won the Oscar. So what we're doing is we could either put this entire thing in two brackets or parentheses, make it a subquery, and then use a where filter and say where wins is zero. But if we want to avoid that subquery, we can use having to filter on that aggregate function sum winner, uh, basically that column and say wins should be zero. That way we don't have to use a subquery and we're able to have fewer lines of code. All right, so now we only have zero values in wins. We still have the nominations and they're ordered in descending order. Last thing we should do, let's check the expected output. We're only supposed to output nominee a number of nominations, so let's remove that last column from our select clause. And since I just used wins or that name of that sum function there, and we removed the sum functions, I actually have to use a function here. So SQL knows what we're trying to do. Okay, that seems very close to the expected output. So let's check the solution. Drum roll, internet connection. There it is. So that's the correct solution. I really like this one because it uses having, it uses sum on a Boolean column, which is only possible in MySQL. And yeah, it's quite short and straightforward. And I think you could follow the thought process in trying to get the number of nominations and wins, and then filtering out wins basically setting wins to zero. Now there's another solution for this problem, which works in a bit of a different way. So instead of calculating the number of nominations and wins, you could also just filter the table you're selecting from. In this case, they're just excluding nominees who have won the Oscar. So there's a subquery in here that selects Oscar winners pretty much and the main query that calculates the number of nominations has a where filter which says the nominee should not be in the list of Oscar winners. So it's another approach, but it gives the same output. I left my solution here as a comment as well. And yeah, think about what, which one you prefer and maybe give it a try. Question is available on stratusstrategy.com. You can use the sponsor link in the description below to sign up and get access to this question and many more and practice your technical interview skills. That's going to be it for me today. See you all in another video.